Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for the Stretch and Relax Energizer. We're going to be demonstrating a variety of movements that can be done while standing or seated. Andrew and Deanna are going to demonstrate the standing movements and I'm going to demonstrate the seated movements. So for those of you in the audience, please stand up and follow Deanna and Andrew or myself. Okay, so we're going to start off with a warm up first. So marching on the spot, using your arms and your legs. Stretching is a great way to relax at work or at home. So try to find a few minutes every day to add stretching to your routine. Now keep marching on the spot. We're gonna try and warm up those muscles for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's stop that movement. Deanna and Andrew are gonna demonstrate a calf stretch. So taking one leg forward and one leg back, we're gonna lean forward from the waist and stretch out that calf, keeping both heels in the ground. I'm gonna demonstrate some ankle circles, okay? Each stretch you want to hold for 10 seconds. So we're going to do five circles one way, five circles the other way. Continue to breathe and relax. Let's switch the other foot. So Deanna and Andrew are going to change their foot placement. One foot forward, one foot back, keeping the heels flat on the ground, bending that front knee. And we're going to do ankle circles from the seated position. Okay, both directions. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, everybody. So still sitting up nice and tall or standing nice and tall, we're gonna take one leg forward, extending straight forward, heel on the ground, toe pointing towards the ceiling, bending forward from the waist, stretching out the hamstring. And this stretch is really important for those that sit a lot during the day. Okay, lean forward just till you feel a slight pull. If you feel any pain, back off just a little. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's switch to the other side, other foot forward, Heel on the ground, toe pointing straight up. Again, good posture. Bend forward from the waist and keeping that toe up. Feel a slight pull behind that front knee. Any pain that's too far and don't forget to breathe. Deep breath in and out. Hold for two more seconds and one. Good job, everybody. So now we're gonna sit up nice and tall or stand nice and tall. Clasp those hands together in front against your chest. We're gonna do a shoulder check or a torso twist. Looking over your left shoulder, turning your head and your shoulders, but not your hips. Again, continue to breathe. Try and relax. Three, two, one, back to center. Over to the other side, nice and slow. Turning your shoulders and your head, but not your hips. Again, remember to continue to breathe. Deep breath in and out two and one good work everybody let's take those hands now up towards the ceiling nice and tall stretching out the body elongate those arms okay now we'll pretend we're picking apples so we're going to reach across the body then bring that elbow back down to your shoulder and down two more up and down last one up back to your shoulder oh great Great work, everybody. So let's take our hands down to waist height, turn those palms out towards your neighbor, and then squeeze those shoulder blades together. So really emphasize the good posture and getting a stretch across the front of the chest. Again, really important for this stretch because we do tend to hunch a little bit at our desks. For two and one. Excellent. All right, roll those shoulders back nice and slow. Okay, seven more back. Six. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to change to the front. So rolling forward. Good work. Keep breathing. Just feel the tension melt away. Three, two, last one. Excellent. Shake out those arms and shoulders. Now let's take one arm across the chest. And we're going to hug the back of the elbow, keeping the arm extended, and adding a hand circle. We want to ensure that we go in both directions with that hand circle. Okay, for three, two, and one. Okay, let's finish that off. Then we're going to switch to the other side, bring the arm across the body, hug that elbow to your chest, adding a hand circle. And this stretch is really important to help stretch out the back of the shoulder. Both directions with the hand circle. For four, three, two, 
and one. Good job, everybody. Bring those hands down by your side. Shake out the hands once again. And now we're gonna finish off with the next stretch. So bring your ear over to one shoulder and then push down with the opposite hand to lengthen that side of the neck. This is a good stretch because we do hold a lot of tension in our shoulders and in our neck. Keep breathing for three, two, and one. Let's take it back to center, over to the other side, ear to the shoulder, then push down with the opposite hand. And just hold for four, three, two, and one. Great way to finish off any stretch break is a nice deep breath. So taking your hands down by your side, take a deep breath in, gather that breath in, and then down, breathe out, gather that air, and then press the air away. One more time. In, and out. Great job, everyone. We hope you're feeling more relaxed. Be sure to add some stretches to your day, every day.